Well, good morning. Yes, morning. It's one oh three on the fourth of Mar uh, April. Not March. I almost said March, but it's April twenty sixteen. Okay, you know my policy about the face, no face stuff. So this is your boy Isaac David Brigman with the Isaac David Brigman show. I've always enjoyed being there for you people, regardless if you were ever there for me or not, because it wasn't to me as much about the numbers of viewers that, it's like the old saying about the church story. You know they used to tell you, and they still do to this day, that you're supposed to take and uh, uh, invite people to church. And then, and you even try to invite them to be with God, you know, like, what do you, you know about, well, it, what about going to church and getting to know about God, and you know, and you keep on about it, you know, and that's the same with YouTube. I kept going with what I am doing because I felt like I didn't see a need to quit because I knew that for each person that has looked at these videos, they got something out of it. If it's stuff like I'm talking about now, then y'all probably the ones that do watch me and probably do like me. And I mean like is in like, this guy's cool, he does good videos and stuff. Y'all probably think I'm trying to leave YouTube. No, I'm not. I'm not even going to leave. I don't want to. I have no desire to because I like doing what I do with YouTube. I like trying to express myself to y'all to where you get a point out of what I'm saying and you're like oh so he's trying to tell us something that if he didn't tell us we wouldn't have known about it or we know about the subject we just didn't know that side of it and there's gonna be times I apologize to you and times I just let it go there's times that I'm gonna stand my ground and if you don't like it well you don't like it but I've been seeing, I've seen a video recently, won't name names, because if he's watching, he might take it the wrong way and think I'm making fun or saying something bad to him, but I'm not. The point is that he was doing a how-to videos. He had a talent. He was young. I say very young, but he had a talent. But... He was another one of those characters that you didn't see it coming. He wanted to quit with YouTube because he felt like he had potential in his present job he had. And he didn't think, I guess he thought he could be more potential in that job, more, you know, be more successful because he figured he was doing the, he was doing, as they say, the math realizing that if he stayed with his job, he could make an investment at some point, like go up the ladder until you get to basically almost being the boss of the job. And so, yeah, I started thinking about that, and I'm like, does people not know the policy of YouTube about it can be a job? And... No matter if you get paid for it or not, somehow have a financial plan because if you really like, he makes it sound almost like he didn't find hit happiness in YouTube, but to look at his attitude, it looked more like he was depressed or sad or something about something. Because he looked like he was close to being in tears, even though he didn't cry. But it was like, I'm close to it, but I'm not to that point where I will cry. And, you know, if you don't find no more fun in it, I can understand. because. But you should have known that at some point, there'd be a bump in the road that may either end the whole thing or either... Be a speed bump and go on. But people don't think like that. They think that they know the future. 
people, if you don't know your future, please don't be trying to judge it. Don't be trying to say that you know it all about the future because you don't. Me, I don't know where the next day is going to lead me, but I'm not going to let you people down because what I try to say to y'all, I mean it. Um, and it don't matter if you have 100 fans or more to at least have one fan, even if that's all you got. That gives you the encouragement. Well, if that person likes it, how do you not know when you're doing this for 100 years or more that then there'll be more people liking it and more people. And i seen that a lot of the videos that I did that y'all like the most are the how-to videos. And you say, this, i seen where the boss, how to smoke a Boston butt video was pretty popular. And I didn't speak on that just because I wanted y'all to know how to do it. I spoke on this subject because, quite frankly, I like the food. A Boston butt is good to me. But it's also better when it's turned into barbecue because... That's what usually they use the most to make the barbecue. And it's good. I don't know why they call it Boston butt. I don't know if it's a butt from Boston or whatever. I, you got to understand me. I have a crazy sense of humor. But but if, if it makes any of y'all laugh, well, that's good because I've succeeded at something. But point is, if you're not happy with what you're doing... If you have a choice in the matter, evaluate it. Evaluate your situation you're in right now. Because I don't want y'all thinking y'all have got to do things a certain way. Because, look, like I said before and I'll say it again. If you're not happy with what you're doing, what are you happy at? I don't know. I don't know each one of y'all. I can't just up and say, okay, I know what you're good at or what you're happy at. And then direct you. I'm no... I'm no guidance counselor. If I was a guidance counselor, I'd probably counsel myself. Counsel, not cancel. Well, I said it right, but just sounded like something else. I would tell myself, you're a good guy, and you're doing the right thing, but watch out for those that might tell you how what you're doing now won't mean nothing to nobody. Because it will mean a lot to people. I may not sound smart to myself at times, but I kind of get the feeling that sometimes that's usually the times when you make the most impact with the audience. I won't say audience. I'll say uh, my family and my friends. Yes, I'll call you that because, you know, and I may have said before what I call y'all, but I didn't never force myself to truly commit to a name to what I call y'all because you know and uh, you know and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that you know I'm right for what I do at times I'm going to do things I'm not proud of. You know? I guess y'all are, are a part of the FF Alliance. I guess I could say. Now you say, what's the FF Alliance? The Friends and Family Alliance, or F and F Alliance. You know how when you say things, there's a lot of things that are that are not said, but are there, like silent participants in a situation. Well, like the and in this situation is a silent participant it's there but you don't see it and hear it until someone speaks it so the ff alliance y'all when y'all get into what i do and say y'all are a part of the ff alliance because you're my family and you're my friends 
because y'all have took the time to notice me and to take interest in me. And I consider that something that a true family member and a true friend would do. So then I figured the FF Alliance is something that even I would want to be a part of. You know, like how PewDiePie has his the bro army. Well, I've got the FF Alliance. If anybody else has got one like that, let me know and I'll change the name. But for now, and the FF Alliance is asking you people to join just by subscribing and by liking me and by commenting. That automatically is your membership into the FF Alliance. And if you want to keep up with the dues of the FF Alliance, it means to like, subscribe, and comment to more videos than just one of mine. The more videos of mine you keep up with, and the more you like, the more you subscribe, and the more you comment on each one of my videos, that pretty much assures you're paying your dues. That is the payment for the dues of the FF Alliance. So basically it means it's a group that is free to join. All you got to do is like me, subscribe to me, and comment me on everything I do on YouTube then you're assured to be a part of the FF Alliance. And it's something that you should be happy about because you keep up with my self. And I, I'm not going to stop on y'all, so don't get that attitude going. But I feel bad about those that do stop on us. Because I'm not just a YouTuber, I'm also a watcher of YouTube. So on my downtime from YouTube, I'm watching videos too. But I better let y'all go because I don't want to get nothing bad going on here about run out of time and then can't say nothing because you want to know that you are able to upload on here. But before I go, please, guys, if you're not into it, think about it before you get started with YouTube. It can be a fun, rewarding situation because you get your point out there. And if you're a good Christian person, you can get a good message going out there. And also tutorials and some heart-to-heart -heart conversations and, you know, things that need to have been said and done by a, another person. Like the way I do y'all. I love y'all and I'll let y'all go.